Hello and welcome to what I hope is the first part in a somewhat longer part series of formatting and getting you guys to understand why formatting is useful, why it's important, and how you can do it easily. Um, it doesn't take a big investment of your time, it doesn't take a big investment of energy, but uh, the results of it are very big. So the purpose of this video is to give you a simple introduction uh, visually to why markdown, or sorry, not markdown, but why formatting is important to the documents and to the text that you write. So let's jump right in. Here we start with a very simple document. It's very simple in that it's uh, not very good. This is a paper, um, it's not a real paper, about why I love dogs so much. It's got multiple sections. It is, um, it's very deep, it's very in-depth. It includes lots of lists, it includes um, quotations, and numerous sections. But you wouldn't know that just by looking at this thing. All you see is a wall of text. All the text is the same size and it's just not very visually useful. If you were to print this out and give it to somebody, then they would probably put it at the, bo the bottom of the stack of their papers. If you were to give this to somebody as a reading assignment and say you're about to be quizzed on dogs and why your teacher loves them so much, then they would look at this and they just wouldn't know where to start. They would be very upset with you. So formatting gives us very simple ways to visually organize a block of text. It gives hierarchy, it gives meaning, it allows the reader to engage with what you've written for them in a much more active and a much more easy way. They're happier, you're happier, everybody wins. So, like I said, this has multiple sections. Uh, let's see what that looks like. Now, most people are already at this point in terms of their own dedication to formatting in that they will give um, headings to smaller sections. Um, this is a great idea. I definitely encourage it. It could be done better by most people, but um, let's just take a quick look about how this is an improvement on the original document. That we now can break up this document into multiple sections. You look at this and you say, I don't know what the hell I'm looking at. You look at this and you immediately can tell that there's multiple different sections and um, different parts of this, th this paper that you might have to care about. So another thing that you might notice about this document is that we have this section, my favorite dogs by category, hounds, terriers, gun dogs, and then a bunch of little items underneath these. Um, this is certainly one way to do it, but if you want to call out the fact that all these are individuals, then you need to make it more visually distinct. And we do that, of course, by using lists. Um, a very simple way to make lists is to just add a dash and a period and put everything on its own line. Um, in, in a future example, just a couple from now, you'll see that this is an inelegant solution. It doesn't copy paste very well, you're adding extra characters, and if you want to change things around then it's not necessarily the easiest thing to do. Um, this is bad practice to make lists using text. You don't want to do it. But um, let's see the next part. Um, these quotes look bad, even, sorry, on everything I have to turn off the check spelling while typing. Um, there's actually two quotes in here. Here's one, here's some text explaining what we're talking about, and then here's another quote. It doesn't look so good. So using formatting, we can make these much more visually distinct. That This is something very typical of block quotes. You'll see um, them in italics. Here, of course, in the middle is the explanation about why you're doing these quotes, and then here's another quote. <clears throat> this looks fine. Now, um, here's another example of making lists better. This is actually using the list function of whatever word processing program that you're using. Here, lists are just a dash, a space, and then an item. Over here, this is something that's intrinsic to um, a word processor. Now, here on text edit, you would use something like this, like a bullet. Very simple, no problem there. So you can see that over here, 
you're kind of getting the idea. But over here, it's very pronounced that these are my favorite hound dogs. These are my favorite terriers. These are my favorite gun dogs. Um, it makes a lot more sense that way. And if you needed to somehow, if for some reason you need to convert this into a, um, a numbered list, you can quickly do that. And also a massive, massive improvement on making ordered lists. That's when it's like one, um, like this. People will often do things like that. It's very bad practice because if you need to put something in between them, then you have to go down and renumber absolutely everything. It's very, very bad practice. So like that, it just does it automatically for you. And so then finally, let's take a look at just kind of what all this stuff looks like when you put it together, that this is using some very basic formatting principles to do this using a word processor. But when you're writing for the labs, you're going to be writing mostly for uh, either the web or for uh, Git books. And I'll let you in on a secret that everybody who writes for the web, or at least most of us, use a format called Markdown. Markdown is a way of creating all this stuff very easily. Headings, code blocks, inline code, um, bolding, italicizing, all that good stuff. Makes it much more easy. So this is what Markdown actually looks like. That Get about that last thing. So here's what this looks like, and here's what this looks like. That we've got big, beautiful um, headings. Here's a code block. Here's my lists. Here's the block quotes. Um, this particular theme doesn't make it very apparent, but you can see that there's uh, kind of a uh, little stylized uh, typographer quotes right there. So you can see this is a very, very big improvement on this drab, ugly document and this very well formatted, very cool thing. So this has just been a quick and dirty introduction to why formatting is important, and I hope that you are kind of grasping the importance here. The future videos on this series, in this series, are going to focus more on how you actually achieve this in a very quick, very easy way, so that you spend a very, very, very small amount of time making your document formatted properly, and in the future, you won't need to worry about it at all.